when you have CCTV, scary things can pop up at night, and there's a lot of scary security footage out there like this. Number 12. A girl in Russia is getting followed by a lurker on CCTV security cam. A creepy tall man wearing all black. She goes to the door of a building and does not open it right away, pausing for some reason. He hangs back and tries to blend in, but as soon as she goes inside, he naturally follows close behind. He closes the gap and she's almost within grabbing distance as she goes up the stairs. But just when you think she's a goner, the girl fakes like she's heading one way, then pulls a 360 maneuver to get the heck out of there. He's still coming up the steps and expects her to be easy prey, waiting for the elevator but she's not there. Not only did she outsmart her lurker on CCTV, she does it in a way without letting him know that she was on to him, just a calm and collected exit strategy. He leaves the building without the girl and is surprised when she walks right by with her father like nothing happened. I guess the girl didn't tell her father, but I'm sure there would have been a confrontation then and there if she had. I'm glad she's alright, but I wish she did tell her father though, because this definitely seems like the kind of person who will try this again on some other random person and needs to be stopped. Number 11. A YouTuber named Pandora Hart told her manager to give her a copy of this creepy security camera footage to upload after something scary happened to her at work. She's making a drink when the left cup moves all by itself. Her hands are full and the cup just bounces over like no big deal. I've seen videos before where a cup will move slightly because the bottom is wet due to condensation. This isn't one of them. The cup moves too fast. The AC vent is nowhere near, and they keep the door closed. So with that said, how can an object simply move on its own? Number 10. Look closely and you'll see a tall figure in a black robe looking through the front door of this home. And no, it's not Halloween. It's large and yet at the same time so hard to see that it might be nothing at all. I see it though, and it stands there for a full minute without moving. Number 9. What's scary about a lurker on CCTV is how they can often look like a normal person at first. You wouldn't think twice about this person until he suddenly crouches down and starts creeping around on this person's security cam like the world's scariest lurker. The change in posture and the way he looks around is super creepy, like a transformation of sorts. He's crawling around looking through the windows, under closed curtains I would presume, trying his best to find an angle that will grant him the most of what he wants to see, a stranger inside going about their daily life. At one point he hides behind a trailer as the passing headlights of a car go by. He still crouched down like some kind of ghoul. He waits for the car to pass and then resumes his peeping activities. His awkward run at 1 minute and 35 seconds lets us know he was spotted. This CCTV lurker video happened on April of 2016 in Queensland, Australia. As far as I was able to research, the perpetrator has yet to be caught and unfortunately most likely never will be given so many years have passed. Who knows how many others he's done this to in the meantime. Number 8. A YouTuber named Chastity Pineda TV has a haunted basement. As this paranormal video shows, her camera detects motion at 2.52 AM, but she can't see anything, only the sound of ghost footsteps. And 8 minutes later is when this 3am paranormal experience is archived for her to look at later. She puts the camera in a different spot, and on another night, 11.45 to be precise, she catches the swing in motion with all of the lights on, and at 2.20 the next afternoon, the swing is moving on its own and something new happens. Listen again, did you hear the creepy kid's voice when the stick falls?
That's an old walking stick they're interacting with, by the way. Perhaps this object is what's causing these events. Number 7. This is probably one of the scariest baby monitor submissions our subreddit has gotten. It was posted by a user named Shadow Panda, who found a straight up demon face in the room of her 10 month old child. The face is looking off to the side through the boards of the child's wooden crib. The face is still on her baby monitor, right up until the very moment she opens the doors and steps inside. Then it's mysteriously gone. The only thing in its place is this green kid's toy, but I don't see any way it could look like that scary face. There's a Dalmatian toy wearing a hat, but it doesn't look like the demon face either. It's not at the right angle. This thing, whatever you want to call it, was looking at her child right between the bars. Freaky, right? Number 6. The justice system in Brazil is notoriously overcrowded. As such, CCTV ghost footage like this sighting is not that uncommon. The CCTV ghost goes into a small courtyard and climbs the wall to see over the heads of people who aren't even there. After a bit of scouting, it goes back inside. This simple routine was probably repeated hundreds of times throughout the course of this passed away individual's time behind bars, and so it seems reasonable that it would continue to do so in the afterlife as well. A spirit sadly locked away forever. Number 5. An unnamed European castle is the subject of investigation on a ghost hunting YouTube channel called Paranormal Mystery. They are hastily setting up a CCTV system for the evening's investigation when they realize the battery is being drained from all of them really fast. But right before the cameras power down, they manage to capture this ghost on CCTV. A ghost walks by and dissipates before it reaches the last step. I don't know if this is computer editing, but the way it slowly shrinks and then goes away is more complex than a simple fade out shot. This video was taken in 2008, so the video quality is actually quite good and still holds up to this day. Their surprised reactions make me think this could be real. Number 4. Jessie, who runs a YouTube channel called Jessie Christine Keep Calm and Clean, is freaking out over a scary CCTV video of an odd light she captured in her own living room. The camera is moving in real time so this footage is not sped up. The light is only there for a second and then gone as quickly as it came. When you look at her living room during the daytime, you can see the area of the couch where the light hit is across from a window, so maybe it was headlights from a car or something. But since they live on a quiet country road without many neighbors, there's no real reason for anyone to be passing through. And if they were, the light from their car should last for longer than a second as they go down the long road. Number 3. This CCTV footage appears to be from a market. A woman and a man are looking at produce when a stranger stumbles into the frame, reaches out his arm, and does something pretty terrible that I can't show here. The two people are obviously furious with his actions and attempt to take justice into their own hands. The stranger's actions were very creepy. And I wonder if this video evidence will be used to press charges. Number 2. A CCTV of a hotel cleaning service after hours captures an unexplainable event that leaves them scared and confused. The hallway is calm and still a shadow person runs up to the cart and then turns away leaving a faint trail behind. The CCTV ghost looks like it's a glitch, if you ask me or else special effects altogether. I wish that the camera was just a little closer, because then it would be much easier for us to tell. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. 
In October of 2019, a girl by the name of Cupcake went missing in Birmingham, Alabama. She and a friend are seen playing on a footpath at 7.24 p.m. when a full-grown man walks by. He's wearing all black clothes. Approximately a minute later, a second man walks by wearing a lighter colored shirt. This person stops to talk to them, which is suspicious, but he could be concerned for their well-being and asking where their parents are. One of them is accused of taking Cupcake away with some candy and driving off in an SUV. As of the time of recording this video, the case is still ongoing. It's scary that we may never know which one of these two men are responsible, because these actions are of a complete and total psycho. I truly hope there is justice for Cupcake, and this case becomes solved. You might think you can watch these scary videos without getting scared, but I think you can't. Let's see who's right.